Hi, I'm Jacinta and today we're going to be looking at some spooky, scary islands to get some inspiration for Halloween decorating. Now obviously I cannot show you inspiration from my own island because mine is very much the opposite of spooky. So instead I found a few very talented creators of spooky islands and we're going to look at some inspo from their builds. So I just want to say a big thank you to those creators. All the info will be in the video as well as in the description box. So please check out their accounts, leave some encouraging comments if you like and yeah again just thank you so much for letting me visit and I also just want to mention this dress designer they go by the name Hedge Wicked on Twitter I found this and thought it was so cool very spooky I love it also I just want to add a trigger warning around death because this is a spooky themed video there are some graveyards and other themes like that so please don't watch if you're not up to it so the first island for Halloween inspiration is called Amethyst and it is by a creator Megan Renee Plays this whole island is decorated with a lot of Halloween vibes like this cute little trick-or-treat van how cool is this I love it and these hats that have been designed like candy bowls that's so cool I don't have any of the design code information but find Megan on Instagram or YouTube and I'm sure you can ask her there I love the color theme of this island there's a lot of Halloween items used of course a lot of blacks and oranges and purples and here we have Muffy's house who is the island witch Muffy's house colors are so perfect for this island theme black and purple that is so cool and in Muffy's yard she's got a little mini area off to the side where she's growing all the ingredients for her potions and then on the right hand side she's got her big witch's cauldron to make her spells in and in the front of her yard she's got an area set up for her tarot card readings how cool is this idea Muffy tell me please is my future looking bright if not actually don't tell me <laughs> And then down here she's got a little potions van so she can sell her potions on the go. This custom design is so cool and really well done. Such a good idea. And down here we have Cleo's yard which is so cool but decorated a little bit more simply with a really nice purple orange and black flower patch. So if you feel like doing something a little bit more easier in the Halloween theme this would be a really good idea and it looks so nice. And also how perfect is this time of day for this dream address if you're thinking about doing a spooky island definitely think about setting the dream address at night time or on a day where it's quite foggy it really adds to the spooky vibes and then heading on to another villager's yard we've got Lucky's house and the area around his house is decorated like a graveyard Lucky himself and his house are obviously so perfect for this theme I love how the graves are just scattered around everywhere and that standee design is so perfect it's like a little spooky fence and hedge this is so perfect of course pumpkins are like a necessity for a spooky Halloween island so of course you need some form of pumpkin patch how cool is this there's a big pumpkin patch you can choose your own pumpkin and carve it yourself on this little seating area off to the side that is such an awesome idea and I really love the moon and the crescent moon chairs up on that cliff too really adds to the spooky vibes and then the last bit of inspo I'm gonna show you from this island is this spooky hay maze. How awesome, a really good idea. And there were some sneaky pitfall seeds in there. Very dangerous, watch out. But I made it out in the end and I was very pleased. <laughs> If you want to see this island more in depth please visit Megan's dream address it's so awesome and has so much good inspiration. Thanks again Megan for letting us visit. Now the second island is called Moonside created by my friend Kelly and how fitting that she has set the dream address at night with a nice big bright moon in the sky that is so cool. Now on her island she has created this amazing cemetery. Look at this it's so big. I love how she's done this the graves are sort of all scattered in different areas kind of like structured and unstructured at the same time like we have a lot of symmetry but because of the path she's used it feels very natural and not too structured. I think she's done such an amazing job of decorating this and it looks so perfect at night time and then leading on from the cemetery she's got a funeral home which is such a cool idea she's decorated it so pretty out the front and then let's go inside and take a look So each room is decorated differently and it comes together to create a funeral home. So I think this room is like the reception or the main room where you would come in and meet with them to plan a funeral. And then coming through here, we have the church and oh my gosh, Pashmina is the chosen one. 
So we've got Pashmina's photo up the front, so we know it's her funeral. We've got this table that looks like it would be the coffin. And then she's used the wedding pipe organ, which is very fitting for those sort of church vibes. This room is so well done. It's quite funny because those are all items from the wedding event, but they work very perfectly for this funeral home. And then heading into this room on the left, this is the second viewing room for poor Julian. Rest in peace, Julian. This room is so pretty though. And then to the right, we have the third viewing room for poor Boris. Again, how perfect are the wedding day items for this funeral home? They work so well. And then this room upstairs, Kelly calls the office and samples room. So you can come up and talk to someone or you can pick out a lovely gravestone or coffin. And then we'll head downstairs to the last room in the funeral home, which is a little creepy because it's the embalming room and crematorium. And again, this room is so well done. She's using the brick ovens there for the cremating. She's got these beds and little sciencey items laid out. So good. And then on the wall, she's found a custom design that looks like where they put the bodies. I'm not sure what that's called, but yeah, very creepy, very well done. Thank you for letting us visit Kelly. And let's move on to island number three. And this third island is called Wicked and it's described by the creator Opal of Wisteria as a Halloween core island. So of course it is perfect for some Halloween inspiration. And this creator has had a really cool idea to use the illuminated ice items, which is so cool. They're a Christmas decoration, but they're mixed in with Halloween decorations and it works so well. Wow, look at this neighborhood. This is amazing. So the creator has turned their house into this big spooky haunted mansion, which is an amazing idea. They've been incorporated some of the spider models which is very creepy and I love how they've used the Mario bricks to make these spooky floating candelabras. This is so so cool. I love this creepy village and neighborhood she's made. It looks so good. So many good custom designs and flowers and bushes, these leaf piles. This just looks so good. And down here we've got the campsite which is set in a graveyard. No thank you, I would not be staying there. In the corner of this village's yard, we've got very simple build, just a few items, but it's created a very creepy scene. We've got this well and then a customized sign with this lost poster, which is insinuating that that person went down the well. I love it and hate it <laughs> at the same time. That is like my worst nightmare. But yeah, it's very spooky with only a few items in this little corner. It would be a really good area to recreate. Another cool build idea is this little like fortune telling booth. All these items come together so well. I love the design used on the stool and then using that doll as the fortune teller is such a good idea. Now, if you've been struggling to incorporate a spooky theme with your shops, here is this amazing shopping district. Wow, there's so many different custom designs. I love that spooky like custom panel in the background. Looks like windows. This is amazing. And they've included the museum as well. And it's still small. That is cute. I love this because sometimes the buildings are really hard to fit to your theme because of their colors and whatnot. So this is awesome. This creator has done such an amazing job with these shops and I'm blown away by this item. Island. It's so well done, has so much Halloween inspo, so please check out the dream address and visit it yourself if you want to explore it in all its glory. This last island is called Deadwood, made by deadwood.acnh on Instagram, and their little catchphrase for the island is, welcome to Deadwood, don't get lost. <laughs> How creepy is that? Especially because I'm probably going to get lost, so now I'm scared. <laughs> Their dream address is set on a very, very foggy day. How perfect, it's very creepy. I love this road path, it's amazing. How realistic is that? Wow, this is very spooky, it feels very abandoned. Here we have a creepy way to decorate a campsite. If you can just barely see the campsite in the fog there. So we've got this big field of lilies, which it feels very abandoned. We've got a creepy scarecrow, a windmill moving very slowly. There's that fire in the back. This has a very eerie vibes to it. I'm not sure if I'd want to stay here. 
Now, if you're wanting to incorporate terraforming into your spooky island, this is an amazing way to do it. You generally think of terraforming and waterfalls as like really pretty, but this definitely has very spooky vibes the way they've done this. Obviously the fog adds to it, but they've kind of added a bit of perspective and depth here that just makes you wonder, Ooh, what am I looking at? Very creepy. We've got all the Halloween trees, sort of blood custom designs and those dark lanterns all add to the vibe. I love this. A common feature that people use on their islands to decorate village yards is these washing lines and they are perfect for any theme because you can customize them. And this one's been customized with some blood stains on it, like someone has committed a crime and tried to do their washing after. This is perfect for a scary island. Another spooky decorating tip is incorporating the fossils because a lot of them are bones, they look creepy. I love how this creator has used the T-Rex, they've put either half on the side of the museum and it looks really cool. Well that brings us to the end of this video, I've got Biscuit photobombing me here, but I hope you enjoyed these islands, I hope they gave you some good Halloween inspiration for your island, or just got you in the Halloween spirit. Thanks again to all the creators that let me visit, and thanks for watching, bye!